You throw the ball like right in my face, Dad. Jason, he's so active. I mean, he's a seven-year-old boy. I mean, he wants to be in everything. I just want him to not slow down and just continue full steam ahead on everything that he's doing. We elected to get him into four-year-old preschool and that was during COVID. So at that time we had mask mandates. His teacher at the time started just reaching out more consistently with issues, Jace getting very frustrated, having a hard time articulating kind of what was going on. And then one day his teacher reached out to us and said, I, I think Jace is lip reading and I think that he's struggles when we have a, his mask on. Have you, did he have any trouble with his hearing tests? It did take a few times for him to pass his hearing test when he was born. The light bulb went off in our minds and we had him tested and they referred us to, to Boys Town. What's your favorite color? Blue and green. What, what do you like to eat at school? Nachos. Top of his class for kindergarten and reading um, every, all of his skills were, were there. The teacher said he's doing really, really well, but now we think it's probably time that they do some kind of tuning or adjustments on him. His right ear had a really significant, profound hearing loss, and his left, or his left had more of a moderate hearing loss. So when patients get a profound hearing loss, uh, there can be a problem with both how loudly their hearing sounds as well as how clear their hearing sounds. And so with that degree of hearing loss, it's really difficult to still get benefit from wearing a hearing aid. Is It just is gonna increase the volume but not improve the clarity. And when patients have that significant amount of hearing loss, usually a cochlear implant is a better option for them the same day of surgery or? A cochlear implant is not a quick fix and it does require a lot of rehab visits with both the audiologist and a speech language pathologist just to really get the device working for him. Knowing that we are two hours away living in Storm Lake, Iowa, um, that was very concerning to me because I didn't want him to miss a ton of school. So they're willing to work with us to schedule the appointments in days that won't impact him. Um, and virtual therapy sessions. The Boys Town team, I think they truly understand that this is a life-changing event, and so they take, they take care in every aspect of the whole, the whole process from start to finish. Yeah, it's up here, you can do it! He is excited. He talks about wanting to get his implant, he wants to hear, he's asking, every week, when do we go? When can we go? I want this, I'm ready for it. And we're excited for him. It's a nice feeling to be able to trust Boys Town to give us the direction and the recommendations, the support that can help us make the right choices for, for our son and for our family and for our future.